Welcome guys to the studio. Today a special video all about how to promote your music on Instagram. It's not easy, but I'll try to show you how it's done in an easy way. So yes, we all know Instagram is important. I think it's beating Facebook by, by a long stretch. And then there is Snapchat, which is like really specialized and really for, for younger people. Instagram is the most used by far, the most important of any news outlet talks about a superstar DJ producer, songwriter or whatever, they always refer to the followers on Instagram. And whenever you have a release, you might be tempted to promote it on Instagram and you should, it's it's a smart way you should use it, but it's also the hardest I think by far because there are some problems. It's a, it's a photo platform. So it's not really made for video. It's not really made for music at all. And you can't post any links underneath of your posts. It's not possible. You can't get people to click on a link and listen to your music. So that already really sucks. I mean, yes, you could write their link in bio, but then people have to go to your profile, click on the link, and then it doesn't refer them to Safari or any other browser. It stays in Instagram because Instagram wants to keep the people and not lose them. So by design, by default, they make it really hard for you to get people to another place, get people to Spotify, Apple Music and whatnot. And yes, you can push your content with ads. You can pay Instagram to have a link right underneath of the picture or video or whatever you post to get people to get to your product but there is a huge drawback when it comes to music and it's just in the nature of music because you're selling a product that is nowadays with streaming just worth half a cent. So every person that clicks on the link listens to your music, it's half a cent. If someone sells sunglasses and they're like 20, 30 bucks and they make like 10, 20 bucks in their pocket by selling one of these sunglasses, it's worth it to spend 100 to sell 10 of them you should just do it. And a lot of companies do and do it very successfully. If you have a good product, a good picture of it, it just works. With music, unfortunately, it's not worth it. I wouldn't spend any money on Instagram to promote any of your music. Maybe only if you have way too much money or for tax write-offs, but usually just, just don't even think about it. And another big thing to consider is that those ads could even hurt you. People click on the link, listen to the music and maybe you didn't target them right and they don't like this kind of music, they listen to the song for 10 seconds and then stop. And this will heavily, heavily, badly influence the algorithm on Spotify and your song will basically get minus points, won't be featured in big playlists and also won't be added to other algorithm-based playlists and showed to other people. So you're just hurting yourself and spending money for nothing. So I'll talk at the end of the video about what to actually do instead, which is like the, the smarter move to see Instagram in, in general and just build up yourself as a brand. But a lot of people that post music post either the cover of the song, maybe a snippet of the song. If you sing, record yourself or just add some after effects on top of the cover, something that moves and draws your attention. Because another downside, most people scrolling through Instagram do it on the bus, at work, in school, and they can't listen to music. They just see a cover and it doesn't interest them. So it's really hard to get these people. So whenever you post music or videos, do it at a time where most people are at home and can actually listen to music. So usually after five, six, seven, maybe even later is totally fine. Also consider your target audience where they live. If you make music in English and the entire world is listening to your stuff, it's really hard to pick a time. I would usually then go for something where it's day all over the globe. I think like German European time, it would be right afternoon. So it's like in the morning in the US and really late in Asia. If you're in the US, then probably in the morning to hit the entire world. So these are the easy things you could do. One that is a little more advanced is actually doing a performance video. And uh, we have a couple of people today here in the studio actually doing one of these performance videos. So let's go downstairs to the, to the vocal booth and check it out. Oh, 
Uh, we could spark one just to get the midnight dance uh, I know it get cold on lonely nights. So today we got a bunch of guys here in the studio, one singer, songwriter, rapper, and we're doing actually basically a video for him, one take live. With all of this equipment, we got here a really nice light, like very diffuse, um, the mic of course, camera here another camera for two angles. And we were all sitting on the other side of the vocal booth, listening, checking. And he actually made it like in, in three or four takes, like one time the entire thing through, which is really good. Really great content for your social media, especially stuff where people can see that you're talented is always very, very welcome for Instagram. I mean, this is overkill. You can just do it with your phone. That's fine. Just show your skills, show your talent. People will appreciate it. So everyone gone, me alone in the studio again. And yeah, that's like one example of like how to promote yourself, just record yourself singing, songwriting, producing, whatever it is, create content behind the music. There needs to be a picture, better a video, and make sure that people actually like what they see. The better the quality, the better for you, but that's something that will come over time, don't worry. Most important is to just get started. If you don't do anything, nothing will ever happen. And for example, also today here in this case, it was multiple people collaborating. The mastering engineer of mine is also taking part in this. They recorded half of this in his studio, half here in my studio. And it's like an online video magazine. They do this with a bunch of guys and this way you get a lot of attention because it's not your Instagram channel, it's someone else's that build it up professionally. So collaborating with this kind of stuff really helps try to find other people on Instagram that promote music. The same, of course, also works for YouTube, Spotify playlists and all this kind of stuff. One thing in particular even works way better and that is meme content. I don't know why, but people love memes. So you could either recreate a meme just with you in it and your music in it, or you could come up with one yourself. And even better is like a viral video meme kind of content thing where you not only perform, but also make something that is maybe political, maybe controversial, something people will just talk about. The more you polarize, the better. If you try to make something that everyone loves, you will fail, because that's then just bland. Make something people hate, make something that other people love. Hopefully the people that love your stuff are bigger, because otherwise you have to deal with shit storms, so be careful. A good example for this is Marshmallow's video, the first one that went so big, I think it was Alone, which got millions and millions and millions of plays within a few days. It's just this Marshmallow character walking around, getting bullied, and like how he deals with it in a funny way, and people also like the song, so you, you gotta do both. Deliver the possible viral content plus the music, just the music, nowadays isn't enough anymore. I would even go so far, spend half of your time making music and half of your time promoting it, especially once you get to the point where your music is good enough. When you're still just training, figuring out how to produce music, how to make music, how to write, how to record, then focus on that fully. But once you get to your first release, split it up in half, half, and once you reach the top, it's 90% marketing, 10% making the music. If you're even still making the music, because at that point, usually other people make it for you. So I think the conclusion to all of this is that it's hard, definitely, but you still got to do it. And then it's not really about promoting your music on Instagram. It's more about promoting you as a brand, promote you as an artist, promote your character, the values that you stand for, the kind of music you like and build that over time, be consistent, make it every day or every second day, post something about you, your life, give the fans something to interact with, give them something interesting behind the scenes or additional information they would never ever get from your music. This entire profile you build around you and your music, it goes, it goes together, like your image and the music it just has to fit. So really to be successful, focus more on that, focus on, on building your brand, build yourself and just grow instead of putting all into just promoting the music whenever you have a release. This won't work. You have to do all of it, build up your Instagram 
And then every two months you have a release and you can like take all of the people with you to listen to your song that started following you because of other things. And also something that works really, really great are giveaways to build up your Instagram. I love them because companies give me stuff for free and I give them to you for free and everyone is happy. It's a win-win-win for everyone. So if you're interested, first link in the description is to my Instagram. Go check it out to have some examples of the stuff that I post and also be part of the giveaway that will start by the time this video is online. We're giving away three copies of the very brand new Ozone 9 that is like specially made for mastering. So thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know down below in the comments and we'll see us tomorrow back again here in the studio for another episode of me grinding, working hard in the music industry and trying to make it as a DJ and producer. You played the game hard and I looked away because baby you see